Hello everybody, happy new year and welcome to the first episode of the 2020 of Guyfluence. Today I'm super excited because we have a guest, a icon of fitness, an entrepreneur and an amazing humble guy and also my client for about three years. And we invited him today to talk a little bit about his story of how he started his business training. Fitness training, sorry. So let's meet Michael. Follow me. Oh, I'm so excited to have you here. Our first episode of Guy Fluence for 2020. First haircut of 2020. I also. know. Yeah. So Michael has been my client for about three and a half years. Three. Three years. Three years wow. Yeah. Wow. And uh, yeah. he's super humble. I'm so excited for you guys to get to know his story. So let's take the hat off and let's start. Woo! <laughs> By the way, that's not my favorite part, is the hat. So, uh, you know, I think I started my fitness journey back when I was in uh, high school, uh, playing sports, football particularly. Um, it was summer, summer break, going into sophomore year, and me and a good friend of mine, Joseph was his name, uh, we were getting ready for the football season. And I went online and I created my first ever like workout routine by me, just created it, uh, using a whole bunch of different workouts that the Miami Dolphins would, would go ahead and put into the, uh, I guess they, you know, their training camp and stuff like that. And that summer, you know, we, we trained, we followed all the workouts, we did the football drills and stuff like that. And I think that really, really like got me involved into like the weightlifting aspect of working out. So I think, you know, sophomore year in high school was when I really got into the fitness stuff. Wow, amazing, amazing. And what do you motivate you? Because let me tell you something. I need motivation and I'm sure that a lot of them all of guys out there need motivation. I work all the time and I'm like how, no I mean, why do you motivate you every day to, to work out because you always look so fit. Right, I think I think we all go through phases. So right now it, it happens to be that, you know, you prioritize things that matter to you. Mm -hmm. So most people, you know, prioritize you know, financial success, family and stuff like that and they put themselves like on the back burner. Um, I think for me, because my financial success and uh, my relationships all, I basically I found a way to kind of like put everything on the front burner uh, that I enjoy doing. So working out to me, I'm motivated to work out every single day because it's part of my business. Wow. So, you know, it's, I don't have to see it as like a, a different aspect. Mm -hmm. For most people, you know, working out is not part of their business, it's not part of their life. But yeah. when I work with a lot of clients, what I do is I find out, you know, how can we make it a part of your life? How can we get you more involved? How can we change maybe or, or help your inner circle of friends to become more health conscious? How can we make it so, you know, while you're at work, you're making decisions that motivate you to go work out. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, you know, I think for me, my motivation comes because it's just part of my business. Yeah, I think something that I do a lot, and this is, I do this with a lot of my clients, and it really helps is creating a reward and consequences. So I think, you know, if, if these people who start 2020 say, listen, for every pound that I lose, I'm going to celebrate in this certain way. It can be something simple. Uh, but for every pound that I gain back or I don't lose, you know, uh, I'll give you an example. I have a client of mine from Miami, and he has a beautiful long beard. You guys know beards are in style now, right? My favorite. So we, we, uh, we, we have a reward system and consequences to set up. And I said, you know, by March, here's the reward system. If this happens, I fly you out to LA, you spend a weekend with me, all expense paid trip. 
Oh, wow. If you don't reach what we want to reach, I'm flat in Miami, shave your beard. So this keeps them on a path all the way from January to March. Okay. To whereas most people start January with no reward system and no consequence system, and they burn out the minute their schedule changes for work. They burn out the minute their car or something happened, they can't go, you know. So they, they find all these external excuses, there's no reward system. And me and Jorge would have started working out. And I said, Jorge's like, Man, New Year's resolution, I want to have abs. I want to have abs at least this phase of my life. This decade, I want to go at least a year with abs. I say, okay, Jorge, every day that we work closer towards our goal, you know, I'll bring you in a brand new client to get a haircut from you, helping your business grow, right? But every time that you go away from that goal, I'm bringing you in all my clients, packing your house, and you're cutting everybody's hair for free. The minute Jorge eats that burger, his abs kind of diminish when we check in, and he has a full day of work, He'll be like, God damn, I'm not, that burger is not worth it because of the consequence system. Mm -hmm. So think of reward and consequence system. And every single time he works towards the goal of his abs, which he already wants to do anyways, mm -hmm. but he's rewarded with more financial income, more growth for his business, it justifies for him to continue going throughout the whole year. Mm -hmm. so the reward consequence system, I thought that worked really well. You heard that, guys? Reward yourself. Look for somebody that reward you. Find a partner too, right? We get a partner, a spouse, trainer. Supposed it can be yourself as long as you're as long as you're honest and accountable enough to follow through with both your reward Correct. and your consequence. You know, there uh, you go. Uh, and my partner he reward me every time I have an ice cream at what nine o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, but this is 2020. I'm gonna get fit again. I'm gonna see the abs. <laughs>
I want you to tell the guys what what an advice. I want an advice for the guys from one of the best trainers I know out there. I want to know, you know, what did you advise men out there to, you know, to do, or how to start, how uh, they how they truly start. So, an advice as a personal trainer, as a celebrity trainer, right. and as a I can. I think yes. for the average guy out there, uh, my advice is just not to overcomplicate it. Just get started. You know, just wake up in the morning and do 10 jumping jacks one day. Next day, do 12. Make that 15. Add two or three every single day and just start that way. I think uh, most people overcomplicate getting started, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so my advice is just don't overcomplicate it and just get started. That's for most guys out there. Wow. All right, did you guys hear that? Well, this is amazing, and we almost finished with the transformation. He have an amazing hair. Well, and now I do. <laughs> All thanks to you, that's for sure. Wow, thank you so much. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> <Now. Yeah. laughs> um. And one last question for you, Michael, is, um, I have another question for you. Last one, we're gonna close our interview with this amazing guy. What do you think women like better? Muscles or bones? <laughs> or boners, I think you could say. Bones, oh, oh. <laughs> bones we all have, so they better like bones. Like? Uh, <laughs> I, I honestly, um, it's actually a very good question. Women like both things, but they definitely prefer boners. That's for sure. I mean, there's a study done on the, the psychology of the woman mind that most women, when they get naked in front of you, want to have a better body than you do. So if you have a really nice body and you're about to have sexual intercourse with another lady and her body is not as you know aesthetically pleasing as yours, she'll feel more insecure, more self-conscious. Um, and the sexual experience won't be as enjoyable for her as you might think it is. So yeah, actually women prefer boners over muscles. That's the truth. Well, now you guys So know. if you work out, you have to do it for yourself, man. You can't do it for the girls. Just do it because you want to be fit, you want to look good in your own skin. Um, and that goes for both men and women. There you go. But yeah. make sure that the boners are working, that's for sure. And make sure your hormones are up to par. And you can reach out to me if you want to go ahead and uh, we actually have a hormone therapy program on perfitnesspt.com. So if you are a guy and you want to make sure that you're working out and you're not losing sex drive and performance in that area, just go ahead and check us out. There you go. You guys check him out. I'm going to put all his information in yeah. the back and right down there in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Michael, for being here with us. And here it is. Thank you, guys. Have a nice one. See you in the next podcast. I'm sorry, IGTV with Jorge and Burbank. Don't miss, this is gonna be amazing. Bye. So I wanna ask you, what, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael, I, I bet, uh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, it, just say it, say it. So that's, is the microphone? So how did you begin your fitness journey? Oh, we're going from scratch, you're going to add all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. So how did you, you begin your fitness journey? How? Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so when did you begin? Just try not to take it. J-Lo, J-Lo over here. That's how actresses are in real life though, for real. Okay. Alright, Michael.